guys, hey guys, hey guys, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. We are still in the gym. I thought today we might decorate in here, but I'm just not feeling it. You know what I want to do today is I want to build a shop over at Slipgator's Village. I think that's what we're going to do today, but I was kind of derping around here because despite the fact that this is all clay, this is actually a plains biome. Uh, see, planes. And you know what spawns in planes biomes is uh, the electikids that you guys want me to evolve. And so I was kind of wondering, I saw a couple of them, but I haven't seen any pygmy ones. But I did see some pygmy other guys, and I caught two, well, I caught two guys. I don't know if they're pygmy or yet, because I haven't checked. I thought I would do that with you guys. So one of them is this little guy. I already have one of these, I believe, the cottony. Maybe I don't. Now, uh, some of you who are new to the channel don't know this, but... Uh, all of my Pokemon got wiped uh, at one point on accident, and except for what was on my team. So he might have been one that I didn't, that I had back then. But yeah, okay, so he's absolutely tiny and adorable. So we got him. Let's stick him in the pygmy section. And, oh, this Flygon. Uh, yeah, because my team is all messed up right now. And then I also cut this Dodorio, which looked like a pygmy. Yeah, it is a pygmy. Sweet. Okay, great. So we've got some good more piggy piggies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's put Flygon back in, just because I want to get the XP share off of him. I don't know who we're going to level at this present moment. Um, I like Metagross, but I, I need to get a, a Pygmy Metagross, uh, and that's going to be quite a challenge, I think. But let's, let's bring Tiggy Lee with us, and who else do we want to work on? It's not going to be a heavy leveling episode, I don't think. But I would like to get somebody else on the team. You know what? Maybe we should just keep... Medic I know you guys want me to level up my Ghastly. I'm going to probably try to EV train him at least a little bit. I figure even if I do like a half-baked job of leveling, of EV le training, it'll still be better than none, right? So let's... Let's do that. I'm gonna let's we're gonna head back to the base, the main base now, and we're gonna get XP shares on it, and I'm gonna get some materials together, and I think we're gonna we're gonna build something over on Slipgator's village. Ooh, a boss. Let's grab him real quick, and then we will get started. Come here, guy. We're gonna wreck you with Torterra. Hopefully. There we go. Ah, cool. Okay, so I guess we'll keep Torterra. Let's earthquake Fluffy. He's pretty low level, but I've got some decent moves on him now. So Earthquake, we can do this, we can do this. And plus we've got, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to Earthquake one more time, and that'll be it. And that'll be lots of good XP for him. Sweet! Fluffy fainted. Torterra grown to level 46. Nice. And we got a Retaliate, a Sludge Bomb, and an Orb. Cool. Anyway, we will head back to the base, and I will bring you guys right back. Here we are on his little... Uh, Sky Village, so he's got, this is his wool shop up here. This, he said, I think is his bug gym. I think that's what he said this is gonna be. Yeah, cool. And then, I guess there's a shop plot over here that nobody has claimed. And pretty much what I understand is that I can make one anywhere I want within reason, kind of in this theme. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look around here and find what I want to, where I want to build. What is this one? Welcome. Okay, so that's just the sign. So I think I could also do it down here. I could go in there. Yeah, I think pretty much anywhere that I so desire, I could build like a little platform for my shop. So maybe, yeah, right here looks like a good spot. That looks like a good spot. Okay, so what I'm gonna, I've got some inventory. I'm gonna get some chests going and dump all my stuff off so that we can start building. Well, I don't know if it's anything attractive, but I built the little platform. Basically, I think I'm just going to build a little little house or a little building here, and I'm going to be selling my building skills and my interior decorating skills. Probably mostly my interior decorating skills, because I don't know how good a building I can build on this tiny little spot here, but... Uh, I think that'll be a good thing, and, and I've successfully sold my interior decorating skills before on other servers, so uh, hopefully hopefully it'll work, and I think my only competition is really Beef, and I don't think that he's selling his skills, because he probably doesn't have the time to do it, so 
Uh, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna build probably something very small. I want to be able to walk around it, but it's gonna be... it doesn't have to have a whole lot of space to walk around, so... I'm gonna utilize all of the space. Actually, you know what I think? One, oops, two, three. Let's go like this instead. That way there's a little bit... we might put a tree or something out here. A little... a little plant or something. Uh, but I'm gonna do this off camera and I, of course, will bring you guys back. Uh, as I figure out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> for better or for worse, this is what I have so far. That, <laughs> that is going to be a tree, but I wanted to raise it up a little bit to make sure that it, it cleared the roof, so hopefully it'll grow nice and tall right there. Even if it's a short tree, it'll still be way up high. Uh, just a little derpy little house. I re-changed this because I really didn't like the double side of wood, so I what I did is I just made these posts even so it fits much better now. You can walk all the way around it, although I don't know why you would want to. I I just felt like it needed to have that ability. And so now I'm going to start decorating the inside. I think we're going to have a couch back here. Um, you know, I brought the dye. I didn't bring the wool. Maybe we will make a clay couch. Something like that. Uh, I may change that at some point so that it's wool. Uh, let's try quartz. I want this to be a classy joint, and I don't a lot. Of, if I use wood types, then it'll it'll blend too much with the other wood types. Something like that. Uh, when I get the wool, I will probably put a wool carpet backing there, and hmm, I brought red and yellow dye, but now I'm thinking pink might look good in here. Pink dye. Uh, you know what? Let me let me dump some of this off and let me go get. And another, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a book, a shelf in here somewhere. Uh, maybe even here. Or maybe right there. I'm going to put some chests on a shelf so that I can move all of this storage inside. And then we'll, I'll come back and decorate it and I'll get the wool too. Look at that cute little couch. Actually, it does not look very comfortable to sit in, but <laughs> I think it gets the point across. I wish we could have... I was going to say, I wish we could have wool slabs but I wish we could have wool stairs too I wish we could have slab and stairs of all of the blocks but especially wool and clay I fantasize sometimes of being able to take quartz and clay and make bricks like not regular bricks but like clay bricks so that would be the color of the actual clay and then you could turn those into stairs and just like, you know, stone, like you can turn stone into a brick. I wish you could do that with quartz and get a quartz brick and then make quartz stairs and slabs. And I wish you could do that with clay. <sighs> Builder's dreams. Anyway, I put up the shelves and I put some chests on it. Um, I put the inner chests because I thought that would be useful, especially for potential payments. I might break these up into be a trap chest and a non-trap chest, but it doesn't really bother me that they're the same. Hey, it's Vintage Beef. You joined the game. Hey, dude. Um, so, let's see. I've got fence posts, so I would like to put glowstone. Ah, uh, that'll be too low. Let's put it here. So a little lighting in here. That's nice. Uh, maybe we should put one more over here. Yeah, that'll be a good spot. We need some more wood. Da dun da dun da uh, Beef messaged me earlier and he offered to trade me uh, my Leafeon for his uh, shiny Gyarados. And I, because I'd mentioned, you know, that I was going to trade something, I would trade for it, but I don't know if I want to give him my Leafeon. I don't really use it a ton, and he wants one because they're glitched right now, so he can't get one due to the fact that the Leaf Rocks don't work. But as much as I like Beef, I don't know that I can do that. Hey, Jason. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a stupid voice. Uh, so let's see. We've got a couch. I've got some bookshelves. Not in my, my thing, though. They are here. They are 21 bookshelves. Let's put them all down, though. Unfortunately, you can't put them there. Uh, this workbench could move bookshelves, huh? Uh, now that we've got... Oh, good job, Beef. Uh, now that we've got glowstone. I don't know that we necessarily need all of these. Let's see what it looks like without these, because that one especially looks stupid with sitting underneath the chair. Yeah, I don't think we even need those. So that'll that'll free up a lot more space for stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's put the bookshelves like that. 
Um, you know, I didn't bring any leaves, but guess what? We are surrounded by leaves. I think we can probably pretty easily get some leaves. Let's go up here. <laughs> Just one little tap and suddenly 10,000 leaves. Okay. Two is a good start. Oh, look, my tree grew. <laughs> Looks so derpy. Hold on. Uh, I want to put the thing here. Uh, let's see. Does that look stupid? Does that look... I feel like it's it's functional. It kind of works. kind of works. Uh, let's fix that tree over here. That looks kind of dumb, doesn't it? I wish it had been one of those big trees. Eh, it's okay. We should put, you know what we should do? We should put trapdoors around it, like that. Uh, let's make some more trapdoors. Oh, workbench is over here now. Uh, I guess we could put a table and chair in here. We've got a lot of chests. Uh, four is good. It's more than enough. But you can't, you have to make two at a time, so. Okay. And uh, I guess I'm close to it. Uh, it's dark over here now. You know what? Let's put it on a let's put it on a, a stick. <laughs> let's put it on a stick. Torch on a stick. There we go. Uh, we could put one here too. That's actually a good idea. Let's put them on the corners. Here in here. Okay. Cool. So let's see. Let's put some tables and chairs down. I've got lots of quartz with me, so let's use that. Uh, we've got this, and we've got this. So let's put, um, hmm, let's put a table here. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, like so, cool. Yeah, so I don't know that I'm going to trade the leafy on. Uh, just, I might, I might, because I don't use it a lot. Not only because of the weird levels. Oh, I can't put a item frame behind that, can I? But because it just doesn't seem that powerful, but I don't know that he would use... Oh, it does work. Okay, I don't know that he would use it a lot either because he, he's just trying to collect all the grass types. So I could always get another one is the thing. But, and he, of course, could wait until later and get one. I don't know. So I might get one. I might give it to him. I might not. Uh, do we want to move that over? Do we want to put it here? That might look better. Maybe not. Maybe that'll be too close to the couch. Yeah, okay, that's too close to the couch, so we'll leave it where it is. Uh, and then somebody else asked, or offered to send, or to trade him their Groudon for his uh, shiny Gyarados, and I'm like, I have a Groudon that I don't really care about. You could have that one, but I don't think he's really interested in such things. How does that look? Uh, you know what? Let's turn these around so that the legs are on the inside. Can we do this? Yes, sir. It doesn't have to quite be this long, but I think that kind of works. Yeah. Now, I don't think I brought any... Did I bring clay? I brought cooked or cooked clay. I don't think I brought any uncooked clay. So I can't make flower pots. I will go get some flower pots because I think a flower pot would look good in here. Uh, do we want more bookshelves or do we want another plant? I want to put a flower pot up there too. I think we'll put another plant here. Uh, did I bring cobble? Because I can make a furnace and use that as something. Yes, I did. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Good, sir. I don't know, like, because the, the purpose of this room, in case you're wondering, I haven't really explained what I'm doing, is to kind of show off some of my decorating skills so that somebody interested in hiring me for their, you know, for decorating their house or something, they can be like, oh, this is what Vaughn is capable of. So it doesn't have, I'm not like trying to make any specific looking shop. It's just supposed to be like nice looking furniture, nice looking decorations and things. And that is, that is kind of what I'm doing here. We've got paintings, don't we? Yes, we do. Where should we put a painting? Right here. Uh, it's a nice painting, but I feel like it should be a little higher up. I don't know about that one either. No. Has anybody ever used that stupid spider one? I kind of want like a two. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. That's fine. Uh, anywhere else? 
it's kind of like a very windowy room. There's not really a whole lot of places that you could put a painting. Okay, what else? Um, flower pots. I'm going to have to get some flower pots, I think, is the next thing, is flower pots. Do we have a place that we could put another... How about that? Actually, that'll work. What do we want to put on that? Do we have another... We do. We have another chest. Bam! <laughs> Easy. Okay, so let me get some clay, and I'll see what else I can bring over here. <laughs> the tree. Uh, I thought it would look neat, but it looks kind of goofy. I wonder if we... If we just stuck, like, one there, one there, one there. Would that help it look a little less derpy? Yeah, actually, that does help a lot. Just makes it look a little less, like high necked or something I don't know anyway I got the clay let's turn I didn't turn it into stuff yet so I think I brought four things that I can put in pots so there we go we got four pots and we got four things that we can put in pots so let's put one there and that will be a yellow flower jeez I was talking to <laughs> it's the second one so a legendary spawned in a jungle biome and they said "Ooh, they love me i'm sure he's out there hunting bugs because he said he was going to do that in one of his recent episodes ah yeah beef the bug whisperer he's got the the muse as well if you see him let me know <laughs> if you see it let me know <laughs> i always look for them and i can never find them they're just so hidden uh we could put a shelf up there actually we hmm Unfortunately, you can't, because if I put a shelf, um, hello, if I put a shelf, like, out of these, I would want to put it there, but you can't put anything on top of that, because it's a half slab. I wonder if I used stairs, maybe, would that look okay? He asks you when you can't actually reply. Let's do something like that. No! Why you change on me like that? Like that 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 and that ah minecraft why uh so h bomb wants to challenge me now so maybe next episode we will have a challenge from him it won't give me much time to level up my dudes but yeah we'll put that up there and we could put some more bookshelves up here too uh of course i put the bookshelves away i think i actually took them back to my base why did i do that job Vaughn what were you thinking what else could we put up here there's just not enough blocks in Minecraft that's all there is. <laughs> there's just not enough blocks dang it hmm well let's put the green thing in there um hmm I'm gonna have to go get those bookshelves because I think two bookshelves up there would look really nice help fill that look in because right now it seems a bit pushed in and we want to put some more stuff here, too. Oh, you know what? We'll do Beef's patent computer thing. He always does that. So we'll do that. And this is perfect because we've got a window. See, the windows, the paintings don't attach, so it looks really good. Uh, we'll use... I don't want to use... We'll use a dark wood. Because the floor... Yeah, that'll be good. That's how it's going to be understood. There we go. Uh, but we do need a pressure plate. Do we want to have... I might want to have a stone pressure plate because... Uh, if I use this iron one, it'll blend in really well. Oh, we've got... We've got a furnace over here. Oh, I don't have any... I, I don't have any coal. Okay, we don't need coal. We just need... Two pieces of wood should be enough. Um, so we'll have that there. You know what we should have? This is kind of goofy, but... Oh! Where, where did my... Okay, it's here. I'm fine. Everything's fine, you guys. Don't don't worry. We're gonna put one of these doodads down. One of these. One of these doodads down. Say that three times fast. One of these doodads down. Uh, it looks kind of like a writing pen or something, right? 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 Uh, you know what we can do? We can put one of those. We can do two of those. Actually, let's do both. Why not? Let's do both. Let's put. Painting inside of an item frame kind of looks like a diploma or something, or like a certificate, or... I don't know. It looks good. We're gonna go with that. And... How about an apple? Why not? Apple. And this is done. We only needed two of them. Boop, boop, boop. So next episode, look forward to the excitement of... Fighting... Uh 
the H-bomb. Let's head back home real quick. This is what I've been doing to get home real quick. It's really classy. No! And we spawn back in my lovely bedroom. If you missed that, it looks great, doesn't it? Uh, so what did we want to get? Oh, the bookshelves that I put away. And maybe we will replace that. I put the quartz slabs away. I was trying to bring some stuff back over so I wouldn't have to take two trips. And of course, the things that I took back are things that I still need. Um, quartz is in here. Anything else? No. Could have put a boat somewhere. No, no. Maybe something in here. The these items I could put in item frames. Like that's the one thing. Like there's look at all this horse armor I have that's useless. Mine carts, records, just so many stupid records. Comparator or repeater. Hmm. I used the repeater in the lights downstairs in the theater. Pokeballs, potions, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's quickly head back over there and we'll finish this off. Bookshelves! Ta-da! Should we put one more? No, I think we'll leave that one empty. We'll leave that one empty. Uh, and then we've got one more flower pot. Oh, and we brought our quartz steps back, so let's replace him with you. Item frame popped off, of course. You know, instead of an item frame, do we still have another painting? We do! Let's use painting. I kind of like the way that these look. And since we've already got the backs, I like the yellow one. Why? Why? Where? There you are. Why did you... Stupid paintings in Minecraft. Not that yellow one. Different yellow one. Really? Where? Stupid paintings in Minecraft! They're so impossible to get the one that you want, and they're so impossible to punch off and catch. I really look forward to an update where they fix the way that these work. Okay, let me spend the rest of my life getting the right backing. There we go, got the right backing. You can see the white kind of ties into the chair too, so that looks good. We got our mouse, we got our thing, or our mouse, our pen, whatever that is, frames, items, bookshelves, we've still got one pot left. Oh, you know what, let's put it up here. I'm gonna have to jump up on here to do it though. Boop, boop, and boop, boop, I said. Uh, flower in the pot, there we go. Anything else that we want to do? We do need to put a sign out front saying what this is and why it's here. I'm just looking through my inventory. I mean, I guess we could put like a computer and a healer in here, but there's not really a whole lot of room left. So we'll, we'll go without that. Looks nice. Looks nice enough. Uh, okay, so signs. Did we bring any signs? We did. We brought plenty of signs. So we'll put the signs out front here and it will say, Just Vaughn's Interior decorating interior decorating job assign business uh, shop shop just Vaughn's interior decorating shop for all your interior decorating needs cool okay uh, do we want to have signs inside okay we'll put them here um, Prices vary from room to room, all negotiable, negotiable, and then of course, uh, discounts if you provide your own materials, and then river, rat, that does a uh, 20% off at all times. Yay, locals! Woohoo! Great! And there you have it, you guys. We have a nice, tight little room. It looks good, though. I feel like we should have shelves up here. Should we have shelves up here? Does that look stupid? I feel like that looks okay, but there's nothing that I could actually put on it because of the, the way that shelves work, but whatever. We'll leave it there. Uh, I'm gonna have to take all this stuff back to my house now. Actually, you know what we can do? We can all stick it in the in, in the ender chest like this, 
and I will check and see how long I've been recording. It's probably been longer than I think it has. If not, it might be a short episode or, you know, whatever. Good stuff. Let's see how it looks from the outside. With the derpy tree. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? One thing I forgot I wanted to do is I brought... Did I bring leaves? I thought I brought leaves. Yeah, I did. I brought some leaves. I wanted to put these in the front. Like little bushes. Oh, I can't put one there. Does that look okay? Yeah. There. Bushes. Uh, I don't know about this one. This one looks kind of dumb. But I think these ones look okay. Adds a little bit of green to it. I kind of want one right there. I don't know if I can put one there because of the way that the tree is. I put the shears away, didn't I? There they are. Let's grab one more leaf. Sorry that I keep... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm drunk! I keep uh, stealing your leaves from your trees. But I doubt he will ever even notice unless he watches this video. And by the way, this is Slipgator's place. Oh, it's not inside. It's over here. Boop, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's take let's take a quick screenshot inside just in case. Or at least this way so I can take a screenshot of this. Like the interior de decorating design shot. Ooh, that was my face. That was a big face. Yeah. Looks good. I am so great. G-R-E-T. I am so great. Great, 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 great. By the way, speaking of how my greatness is, uh, I was talking to Old Man Willikers yesterday. Do you guys know him? And he had a very interesting proposition that... Oh, oh no. Uh, who knew? Let's grab a fence post for that. A uh, very interesting proposition for a server idea that he wants to start up. I don't know why I keep looking in there. And he kind of invited me to see if I was interested in doing it. And I, I don't know how well I'll do on it, but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you like old man willikers and paws and all of those weirdos look forward to something with them that I might be involved with. Alonzi! Ow! Cool. Okay, so let me check the time and see if we have any time to do anything else this episode. Unfortunately, that looks like it's going to be it for the episode. I'm sorry we didn't do anything really related to Pokemon today, but... Oh, that torch is in an interesting place, isn't it? Um, we'll just... There, oh! My biscuits are burning! <laughs> My butt's on fire! Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and next episode we're going to kick the H-bomb's butt. Maybe.